in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're chopping down the millet here. Started yesterday afternoon about 4 o'clock. Uh, cut for about 10 minutes and got stuck and then waited for an hour for Dad to come rescue me with the 50-20. <laughs> fucking shit balls. She made her own on her own. <laughs> I, uh, well, I could still move. So, uh, kind of rock back and forth. And as soon as it would start to spin, I'd stop and back up again. And it kind of made a ramp up instead of just digging a hole. And all of a sudden there, I backed all the way up and then put her in road gear and fucking mud was flying over the header and out we came. <laughs> ah, it's like I wish I had something to mount the camera up in here somehow so you could have watched that because I needed both hands to run the machine there, but <laughs> oh brother. Anyways, ended up running over a little bit of mine millet here to get out, but that's all right. Okay, I guess we won't try our luck here anymore with any more of these low spots, because obviously they're all going to be shit. Kind of crap, because this field's going to be kind of cut up into uh, some shorter passes, unfortunately, but I guess. How she goes. Anyway. I guess there's 55 acres out here. I'm well over half done now, so get this done, and then we've got oh, probably about 15 acres of grass hay, actually more than that, probably 30 acres of grass hay to cut, and then uh, 55 acres there of the green oats that under sown with alfalfa, so we got a bit of cutting to do with try and get some done here is the plan. I'm just going to cut and I'll 
thing back and forth from home all the way back to Grampus here again, 20 miles, a little over 20 miles there in between. This thing only goes 13 miles an hour down the road, and I mean one less trip is better anyways, so. Now that this is getting cut, well then we can make our way home, because the one uh, patch of grass hay is on the way at uh, Great Uncle's place. And then, yeah, this machine won't have to come back here again this year that way, so. Anyway, this is really, really heavy right here. Holy Toledo. I suppose. Bring it back in a few. So, I mean, it ain't that warm yet, but the air conditioner's not putting out like it used to. That tells me our screen is dirty. That's one thing here in this millet. Goddamn fuzzies off of it. I, it's, uh, the stems are kind of fuzzy. I'm pretty sure that's where that's coming from. And itchy that shit. There, can you breathe again, old girl? There. I have to bring the air compressor out here uh, next time on one of these trips, but there we go. Anyway, show you for a minute here. Come and stand in it and see. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're kind of fuzzy. Anyway, I see I got a phone number calling me here, so I'll have to bring him back in a few. tired of how wet it is. Anyway, that's enough for tonight then, I suppose. <laughs> Later on in the day here, I went and cut that bit of grass there at Uncle's place, and now we're uh, into this piece by the peas here that we undersowed with alfalfa, and I mean, it started getting soft way on the other side, yeah, it just kind of arced all the way around right up to this point, but that's okay because the ass of the swather is facing uphill now, so be easy to pull it out with the 
McCormick in the morning, so it's getting dark anyways. I made one headland. That's good enough. <laughs> anyway, talk to you in the morning. Anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm getting tired of sitting in this thing. Fuck, is it getting dirty too in here? Anyway, been cutting all day and gone nowhere because holy fuck, I didn't think it was possible. But I think this might be uh, heavier than mine millet. Jesus, look at that flink of birds, bastards eating all my goats. Ah, oh, we got. I don't know, a few hours of cutting anyways out here yet. Figured I'd show you. This is the stuff that we planted uh, cover crop over the alfalfa. Look at the nice alfalfas in there. <whistles> Just like dog hair. But I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Tall too, this stuff. Holy Toledo. But I mean, look at the swath. Anyway. That's what a guy likes to see. So, 7 o'clock here now. It's going to be, I'm sure it'll be tough by 8 or a little after 8. But if I can cut for another hour, I should make two more swaths. So, another hour of cutting now is an hour less tomorrow. Ugh. So, just stopped for supper there. And away we go. Mint! when things kind of work once in a while. Holy Moses, is that dark? Why won't that work? Flash not available with ultra wide lens. There. So now, tomorrow, we have, I'm gonna get eaten alive by mosquitoes by the looks of that crap. Ugh. <laughs> Tomorrow we have about, I don't know, 20, 25 acres of hay at two different yards. But uh, that won't be too bad. There's really only just the one yard that I'm worried about because it's kind of old pasture. It looked good when we went and walked through it, but I mean, it won't be as... Nice a cutting as the actual little 10 acre hay field we've got at the other place to go do, but it'll be what it'll be. Anyway, I suppose I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys for this one. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more, all that good stuff. Because we're going to be, I'm going to say about two weeks out from making dust with a combine here pretty fucking soon so anyway like i said thanks for watching hit that like button comment subscribe i'll talk to all you guys in the next one